So the first and probably most important handhold that you're going to be learn, uh, learning in this series is called the Greater Vault Hold or Sutherland's Hold. Now we're using this color-coded uh, skull replica here so that may, facilitates that learning. This dark green is called the Greater Wing of the Sphenoid and I will refer to this as a pointer finger or a trigger finger. Each hold has a specific finger that you want to think about before you actually start the, the process and then it'll become second nature and you'll just move very comfortably around the cranium. The first hold is a greater vault hold. So right here at this dark green is the a place where you can actually palpate the sphenoid bone. These are the greater wings of the sphenoid. Now through this process I'm going to be using various uh, trigger fingers or pointer finger and if you can remember the finger for the hold you're in business. So this dark green is where we're going. The greater vault hold is this first hold and it's also been called Sutherland's hold. So here we go, index finger on the greater wing, this dark green. Middle finger on this arch right here, the zygomatic arch. The next point is the mastoid process of the temporal bone and the pinky will reach the white bone in this particular case, which is the occipital bone. So you have this configuration like that and the fingers just comfortably on top wherever they lay, palms gently on the top. Again, on the other side, index finger on the greater wing of the sphenoid, zygomatic arch of the temporal bone, and the mastoid process of the ring finger, and the pinky is on the occipital bone. Of course, everybody's hands are different, so your configuration will be different, but that is the target areas that you want your hand to be. And thumb gently down, hands like a water bug that's alighting on the surface of a pond. Very, very light, the weight of a, wilk, uh, of a silk scarf.